Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jasmine Chiswell and I am so excited for today's video so let's get to it. Oh my goodness you guys, it has been so warm the last few days so I've just been like sitting outside trying to like I don't get a little bit of sun. I never do. I'm always indoors working so I was like I feel like just sitting outside so I'm going to show you just the blue skies right now which I'm seeing. Um, yeah because it always cheers me up. <laughs> So the sky is so blue, the sun's high. Okay, so today I'm going to be doing a vintage haul. Yay! <laughs> so I haven't been able to do one in so long, so I'm so excited to be able to do one for you guys today because there's so many amazing things that I haven't shown you guys that I have found. So let's get started. Okay, you guys, look at this snazzy little table. So it's like four chairs with this glass top and obviously it's like metal down here. But like, look, they're little hearts. Like, can you, you can see this one better? I don't know why I'm showing you the other one. But like, look, they're little hearts and they're cute little chairs. And they are really tiny, but they're really, really cute. And this set is original from the 20s. Between like the late 20s, early 30s possibly, but it's around that time. So the lady that we bought it from, which is Wanda from Play Clothes. If you guys haven't checked out Play Clothes in Burbank, they're so amazing. I think they have an Etsy store and an... I have an Instagram store. But anyway, so basically she managed to refabric the cushions and they used this amazing, I think it's like a 50s. I'm not really sure when this was, um, but it is a vintage um, curtain. And I managed to get them all fixed and reupholstered. And here's some left. And we're just using that actually as just like a throw to go across the table so that it gives it like a matching feel. And we're so excited. I did clean this up because it was pretty dirty um, because she just got it in. And this part is from the 60s, like the glass is from the 60s um, because it didn't come with the original glass unfortunately but look how cool it is! I am so excited and I can't wait to have like lunch and things and breakfast <laughs> out here. Like genuinely like I love going vintage shopping, I love going thrifting and things like that. So for Maverick and I, we, because this year we haven't, well, so last year, oh my goodness, we weren't really able to do that and when we did manage to go to play clothes, um, Wanda would always look out for things for us, for like our furniture, for our homes and things like that. So this one was definitely really good and it was a really, really good price so we couldn't help but say no to it. Oh, we couldn't help but say no, we couldn't help but say yes to it. And we are thinking about actually changing some more furniture just to kind of match that kind of feel um, and the kind of just to, just the same kind of furniture just try and make it kind of flow throughout the balcony so I'm excited about getting that done and as you guys know I cannot go vintage shopping without finding some trinkets for myself and for Maverick finding trinkets for himself and oh my goodness that dog's so cute <laughs> <laughs> and basically I found so many cool things so I'm going to go and show you them now Okay, so here is the bag filled with all the nice goodies that I find so let me show you them all Okay, you guys, so it's really, really pink in my room right now so I apologize if the color comes out really bizarre <laughs> but let me show you all the things that I got Okay, so First one up is Cutex Cuticle Oil. So of course we're not going to use this because it's so dangerous and please never use old makeup on you guys, it's so so bad. And obviously this one looks like it's really never ever really been used. Um, this would be from, I would say like the 50s, 60s, um, but it's definitely cute. And cuticle oil is just some oil that you would just put on your nails right here to help your cuticles. Um, so this one's cute. It probably smells so bad. <laughs> um, the next thing that I also found was this little blusher. So it is Flame Glow Rouge. And let me open it for you. Okay, this one's a really cute color. So it's like a kind of nice pink color. Doesn't look like it was used that much, to be honest with you, but it's so cute. And again, all of their like blushers were so tiny, like look, and I have tiny hands, you guys, but this one is so cute. And it says, keep kissable with flame glow. Ooh. <laughs> They're definitely hitting you with those lines on these ones. <laughs> okay. Um. So the next one is again, a tiny, tiny lipstick, as you can see here. So this one is from Fuller Brush. If any of you guys have seen the I Love Lucy, she, um, I, was, I guess I was watching just there. And um, Lucille Ball, she um, was in a movie called The Fuller Brush. I, can't, I think that's what it's called. 
um, but they do do makeup and things like that. It was kind of like Avon and stuff like that, but look how cute it is. It's so tiny and I'll show you the color. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. So it's kind of like a kind of pinky orangey color. It's really cute. Just like it was used. It still has like a little kind of mark at the top, but it's definitely really cute. I'm obsessed. <laughs> Okay, so I find this one as well. Apparently it was like a cheap um, rouge, but there's nothing in it. But I always like to like keep little things like this. I don't know. It's just like a habit. I like to always keep those things. And I also find, as you guys know, I love collecting vintage lipsticks from different eras. And this one is from Max Factor. And they're both electric pink. Um, well, in the shade electric pink. And this one, it doesn't really show you like it coming out because it's stuck it's probably like pretty much empty and they would just get a refill at this point but it says just apply max factors high fi and don't forget no waiting no blotting so you don't need to blot when you use this one because as you guys know like when you're doing lipsticks and you're doing different layers of it it's good to blot in between so that you don't get it on your teeth it doesn't spear everywhere and you can get like a lot of the color out so that's pretty good um so this is it it is as i said in the color electric pink and it's a really cute pink color I am not gonna lie and um, I think this one well it's the same one but let's see oh my goodness see this is why it's so dangerous you guys you cannot use these makeups like oh it looks like tar or something oh I don't even want to smell it it probably smells so bad like this side's kind of going a little bit orangey but it's definitely a really cute color and I am not going to move this one this one is I don't know <laughs> it's so dangerous <laughs> Okay, so this one's something that I actually don't have many of. I only have like, I think two um, of these kind of products. So this is a blemish stick and I do have two concealers. Um, I think both are Max Factor. They're Max Factor Arrays and I love them. I have one that's not been opened and another one that has, but just hasn't been used. So as you guys know, I love collecting everything. So this one is called Lady Esther and it's their blemish stick and it is kind of like a paper kind of material with gold and this is a here so again it's never been used and it looks like a lipstick it's like a lipstick kind of shape and everything it's a very light color it is like it's like rock right now it's not soft really no it's not it's pretty soft <laughs> oh my goodness you would not want to use this but again it's so cute so small you could fit it in like your handbag or whatever it's definitely something that is so cool so these two things I'm going to show you now is something that I actually haven't got in my collection and when I found them I was so shocked you guys like generally I was like wait did I just find these like I was I just couldn't believe it you guys so as you guys know I do use a lot of white eyeliner just to open up my eyes and things like that especially when I'm tired or I've had like no sleep I love to use white eyeliner and I found two original white eyeliners that were from the 50s um, of course they've been used, it's difficult to find ones that haven't been um, and they have like a metal top, like look, it's like a metal top and here it's here and you pull it out but look how different it is, it's generally like a Crayola pencil <laughs> but it's so so cute, they obviously sharpened it like with a, I don't know like, this one kind of looks like they sharpened it with a knife or something but that's obviously not realistic Jasmine <laughs> but like it's generally like so cool. I was trying to work out the brand. I generally can't make out the brand, um, but it is in the shade number 850. So who knows, but I was just generally in shock. And then I also found another one. And this one, again, it says white pencil distributed in New York. So this one, again, I don't know who made it, but again, it is like a Crayola pencil, it's so cool. And this one definitely is like it's used by a sharpener. Um, but it's just so amazing to see like a white eyeliner, especially in person, because I've never seen one. And especially to see like how the oh <laughs> oh my goodness, I broke it there. I was like, oh no, panic, panic. And like how they put like a metal top over it so it protected it, which is amazing because nowadays like you get like a plastic top or something or you get some without it. Um, but it definitely keeps it nice and secure and it's nice and last the bomb. I have, don't know how many times you guys that I've had white eyeliners or just even like black eyeliners and then when it gets to like that size it's just like not usable. <laughs> There's literally like nothing left in it. Um, okay so I showed you the white eyeliners. I have two more things to show you guys. 
oh my goodness this has been like amazing i cannot wait to put them all away in my collection this dress oh my goodness what's happening okay so this one is another lipstick but look how cute it is it's go with this pink and you guys know i love pink it's like my favorite color and this one is let me see i have no idea <laughs> it was made in new york and oh, here we go da 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 okay so this one's like a dark red again it has that like really disgusting kind of tar at the bottom so again they're so dangerous so please don't use them but it's so cute this one definitely hasn't been used either these would have been like little lipsticks you put in your purse and it has a little thing that you can push it up as well um so these were definitely used for like nights out could have been a little, little sample but i feel like this is too cute to be a little, little sample so i feel like these were actually just miniature lipsticks which is amazing and i wish they still made them today like you could just pop them in like your handbag or something like that um definitely so cute especially when nowadays like handbags are so small you guys like i don't know how many like small handbags i've seen people have and i'm just like oh my goodness i remember i think like they had like um one that was like tiny like i'm just like you can't fit a phone in it but you could definitely fit a 1950s lipstick in <laughs> okay so the last piece that i'm going to show you guys i know can't believe the last piece already but you guys are probably like okay we're done looking at makeup jazz and i'm just kidding hopefully you're not <laughs> okay so this one is another lipstick it's a little gold one um, again, I'm trying to see, this one still has a sticker of how much I paid for it. This one was only five bucks. Um, it says the Geo something and it's in the shade natural. Okay. Oh my goodness. This could have been lip balm, you guys. I'm not sure with this. It's like bubbly and stuff, but it's like a kind of orange kind of thing. Um, again, it has a tar in it, but I don't know. It might have been like a little lip balm or something or a little lip primer. I don't know, but again, it has a thing you can push up at the bottom, so obviously it was a lot more in there, but yeah, I don't know, and they all smell pretty nasty, <laughs> okay, this is not going back in, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're back in, we're good, there we go, okay, oh, oh my goodness, you guys, and look, it came a little cute popcorn thing, <laughs> Oh, it's like I crave popcorn right now. Oh my goodness. I love popcorn, you guys. I might have to get some. I might have to go grab some from the store. <laughs> so, you guys, that is the end of my vintage haul for today. If you guys enjoyed this and would like to see more vintage hauls and things like that, and um, please let me know in the comments below. And I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And don't forget to check me out on Instagram and on TikTok at Jasmine Chiswell. I have loads more content going up there on the daily. So, please don't forget to check it out. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like, a comment, to share this video and to subscribe i am so grateful to have you guys all here and you all mean so much to me and i love you all so much so have an amazing rest of your day and i'll speak to you all very soon and i'll see you back here in a few days <laughs> so take care you guys bye <laughs>